My duty is to guard. I don't get involved in politics. That's all there is in but new plans. I heard you talking about trouble in Banuk lands. Was that out loud? Ears must be getting worn down from all those long leg blasts. But you heard right. I'm fresh back from the cut, looking for better scavenging and better shards. I guess you didn't find them up there? Not with the Banuk wailing about new machines and talking spirits and their purses frozen shut. What's a trade route without trade? It's just a route. There's a trade route. I thought the Banuk kept to themselves. Uh, we Osiram and the Banuk are neighbors, after all. What's a few mountain ranges between friends? I have some acquaintances out there, still trying to dig a living out of the ice, but they say nothing seems to stick. All the superstitious nonsense and rampaging machines aren't helping. What were these new machines and spirits? Honestly, I don't even know. Going by the number of Banuk funerals, I'd say the kind you turn away from. Not really my style. Well, if you reach my grand old age, you might prefer picking up after hunters in the Sundom. It's warmer, too. What is this place, the Cut? When the Karja took up swords and hacked away at the edge of Banuk land, they left the Cut behind. So a battleground from the war. Like the valley outside the Sacred Land. Mm-hmm. Mountain Pass in the far north and east will get you there. It's open to outlanders, hardy ones, like you. Just don't expect much of a welcome, especially not now. New machines and talking spirits? I'm interested. Thought as much, just looking at you. Don't say you weren't warned. There's a slip of a trail through the northeastern mountains, past what we call the Grave Horde. You won't miss it. You'll find what passes for a town on the other side. Maybe someone there can talk you out of it. Maybe. Maybe not. Thanks for the information. Captain Blon, I have questions for you. First, about another Nora woman who might have come through here. And second, about the trail to Meridian. What can I expect on the way? Well, it was definitely another Nora. No way I'd forget that. She caused... an incident. As for what to expect on the trail, nothing good. More machines all the time, and our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. Though after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I could put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but... I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. What do you need, Captain? I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. I'll let them confirm my fears, so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Walid, tell her what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village, sir. Lakir told us to pull back. Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? Have some respect. Report to her, not to me. Lakir always stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. Now that the gates are open again, I can send someone after them. Is there anything more you can tell me about the road to Meridian? Sun King of Vod has devoted considerable resources to making it safe. But by the Sun's witness, it's been harder to control in peace than it was during the war. The machines grow more dangerous all the time. Add to that bandits and new reports of this corruption. We're stretched thin to protect a few outposts like this one. That's for everywhere else. Well, travel at your own risk. Did an Osram named Olin come through here? Twice. He was part of the royal delegation to the Nora, and they passed through on the way, then back. And they brought back stories of a vicious attack on your people. My condolences, of course. Do you know where Olin is now? 
Not exactly. But he was on his way to Meridian, I'm certain of that. Everyone goes to Meridian. Can't you send more soldiers to find the missing men? What about Walid here? Most Norris still don't take well to the side of Karja armor. Officially, it's a risk to send patrols so close to your sacred land. I'd prefer not to do that again. But heading that way won't be a problem for you. Please say yes. What was that, soldier? Nothing, sir. I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I will be grateful, but not as grateful as Walid. You hear that, lunkhead? You might be off the hook. Any word about our missing men? I'm still working on it. You said something happened with Nakoa. The Nora girl? Yes, yeah, something happened. Attempted murder. Prefect Zaid can tell you more about it. You can find him near the main tower, up the steps. <sighs> Wait. Zaid is here? He is. Look, I've heard what your people say about him, but he swears it's a case of mistaken identity. If there's a shadow to him, I've never been able to prove it, and the forbearance he showed towards this Nakoa woman was impressive. No, oh, speak to him. Maybe he knows where she went. And try not to assault him, please. I need to go. Let me know if there's any news about those missing men. Soaked from melted snow. And you're Anora. I can tell from your tone you've heard of me. Let me ease your mind. There seem to be wild stories about me among your tribe. But the Nora have me mistaken for someone else. I'm not sure where the fault lies, but the fog of war often breeds confusion. Unfortunately, some refuse to acknowledge the error. So it was with the last Nora who came through here. The last Nora who came through here. You mean Nakoa? Is that her name? Oh well. It was a very unfortunate situation. She attacked me in broad daylight. If one of my men hadn't spotted her, I might well have been injured. But we were able to subdue her without harm. What did you do with her? I let her go, of course. It was clear she thought I was responsible for unspeakable things. So, in a sense, her actions were justifiable. I explained that she was wrong, then sent her on her way. Sadly, I don't think she believed me. So you deny participating in the Red Raids? No, I didn't say that. I did have a role in those operations, albeit a very limited one. But all this nonsense about torture and murder, that wasn't me. They have me confused with some other commander. I don't doubt some of my comrades did bad things. But Sun King of Ad has worked hard to eliminate such brutality. Where is Nakoa now? I don't know exactly. She left raving that she would find a way to bring me down. But I did hear a report from the garrison at Lonesome Rock that a young woman had been abducted by bandits. Might have been her. You've really gone out of your way to help, Prefect Said. It's no trouble. The Sun King wishes to make amends with your people. And I am his humble servant. I'll go to Lonesome Rock and get to the bottom of this. I promise you that. You do that. And if our men are anything less than helpful, please let me know. Don't look to me for help. My duty is to guard. Don't 
don't get involved in politics. Can't trust him. Not after what Jan told me. That garrison is my only lead. Always stay bright, always stay alert. That's what I say. The world beyond the sacred land. I need to find Olin and learn everything he knows. Who the killers were, how they saw me through his focus. Who the woman is, the one who looks like me. Why they want me dead. Olin's trail leads to Marian. Right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Carja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Aaron's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Aaron. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Aaron, the new captain of the vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy, hey, you're alive. I thought you were dead. Make way, make way. All the way to Meridian just to see me. Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. So you're alive. This uh, we should celebrate. The drinks on me. We need to talk alone, and you need to pull it together. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. Now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around. Her. I, uh... I lost someone, too. At the Proving, the man who raised me. His name was Rost. That's terrible. But why is it every time something terrible happens? Everyone else tells you the worst thing that ever happened to them, as though that makes it easier. Yeah, why is that? Anyway, there was something you wanted to tell me? A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. Some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Owen. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Owen. I need to know what he knows. But he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. 
I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Olin is working with them. But, I mean, this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents, places he returns to? A house, here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess, as long as I'm there to witness the search. I need to see Olin's place, now. Okay, okay, come on. So many people here all talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. That girl. Is she a Nora? Apparently they're letting anyone into the city these days. Year. Why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Errant, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered, and her death, unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself. Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass. What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. Okay, how are we gonna get in? <coughs> oh, that was... Subtle. Here we are. Try not to break anything. That other than the door. All of this for one man. It pays to have connections in the Sun King's court. The corner of this world is frayed. And the floor near it is worn. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? The question is, how to get through it. Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. Day, girl. Wasting time. It looks like a picture of Owen's family. Just what I need. Looks big and heavy. Could do a lot of damage if it fell down. Let's give it a little push. I did say not to break anything, didn't I?
The map. The glyphs show places he visited. Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. Serve, and they live. Disobey, and I will open their throats and leave their corpses to prune in the sun. They took his wife and child captive. They? Who's they? The killers. They told him to obey or they'd kill his family. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me, and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It... reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus. It's the same? The device is the same, but... Somehow, Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances, and see through each other's focuses, too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you? Through Olin? Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait! If that device lets you see the Unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Redridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Redridge Pass, you said. I'll see what I can do. <sighs> 